Hey guys, this is Valerie, otherwise known as Sassfress One. I know it's been a while, but you know, life happens, things happen. But I'm back today, and today I have a Goodwill haul for you. It's a little one, but it's a good one. But also, I have some items that I picked out that are not thrifted. Believe it or not, they're not. From Sheen, I've got something from Madden. And I have something from, what else? Watch it so you can see. See you in a bit. start with the um, items from the Goodwill and we or the thrifted pieces and then we will get to the per, um, other retailers that I purchased um, items from. The first item are these. <laughs> now I am a vintage girl. I love vintage. I love thrift as you all know. I love just going to consignment shops and just finding oldies but goodies. I found these pair of Adidas. And yes, they are men's. Now I tell you, when you go thrifting, go through all of the sections because who knows that it's men? Men's wear that you're wearing. Who really knows unless you tell them. But that's not the point. The point is you have your own style. You have your own aesthetic. You have your own look. And I like these. These are made out of leather. Let me just use one right now. Sorry about the shoestrings. I don't know what's on. No, I washed these. And um, yeah, they're old school. I don't know what year they are, but these are really, really nice. Here's the back. They're in pretty good shape. And I love them. These are from the Goodwill Outlet. Next is this pair of Sam Eddleton flats. Now we all need a pair of comfortable uh, flats to wear. Uh, hey, I love heels, but when I'm out shopping and um, you know I want to look cute. And I want to take my time. I need a pair of comfortable shoes to, uh, you know, shop in. But other than shopping, these are just good casual pair of shoes to wear with slacks or shorts. Or you can really wear this with anything. But I really like those. Or these. They're in really, really good shape. The back. Really good shape. So love those. Now this is sort of my end of the summer kind of splurge thing because we're about to get into fall and you know with the pandemic and everything happening in the world you know online shopping is very common right now. Everyone's trying to stay indoors as much as they possibly can and so I just felt like you know let's just go online and check out some stuff but i went to the thrift stores because once the uh, they start letting everyone out and you know the stores started opening up and everything i knew that the thrift stores would have an abundance of things i mean people are doing cl uh, closet cleanses and just uh cleaning out their houses and getting rid of a lot of stuff so I knew that the thrift stores and the outlets would be full and like right now they are packed but the next item that I found from the Goodwill outlet are these another pair of uh, flats but they're flip-flops aren't those pretty now you guys know I love a little bling bling and I've worn these already, forgive the look, but these are really pretty, very pretty, comfortable, just an easy peasy pair of flat shoes or flip flops to wear. Another pair, go shopping in. 
Next pair are these. These are Ed Hardy. Now I tell you, Ed Hardy's coming back. I know they were out popular back maybe around, maybe late 2000s, late 2000s, middle, late 2000s, early, whenever. But I found these and I'm going to be putting these on Poshmark because when I sell at Hardy, they really sell pretty good. And um, they have the little emblem here. So those were I thought were really cute. And then I found a scarf. This is really, really pretty. Let me just show you. It's cobbled. I don't know if it's silk. The tags are off. But isn't that beautiful? Open it up for you. Look at that. It Hardy. And this is the, the name of the, can you tell? Yeah. This is really nice. I will probably put this on Poshmark as well but I thought that was nice. I also found this bustier. Now I love bustiers, but every time I find one, it doesn't fit. And it says large and you know, I don't have that much you know, up there, but my waistline is you know, not that big, but I would assume that most of them that I find I would be able to fit, but unfortunately I don't. But I found this one and this was really pretty. Now you can really wear this, um, wear this with a blouse, this on top of a blouse with a collar and um, long sleeves. If you don't want to wear it alone or if you want to wear it alone, you can wear this with a pair of shorts. Um, I can envision this with a pair of white, wide, wide, wide leg um, pants and some sandals and like I say, <sighs> It's never too, you can you can always wear white. You don't have to wait till, uh, you can't wear white after Labor Day. That, again, has played out. But yeah, I thought this was really cute. I like the little baby blue ribbon that's in there. And that can kind of match with your jeans if you want to wear them with jeans. Um, just really nice. Here's the back. And I believe I'm gonna have this on Poshmark as well. Maybe, if I don't change my mind. Next pair are these. Now I got this not from the outlet. All of these other items are from the Goodwill outlet. But these, yeah, I know, I know. They don't look like something that I would normally wear. But these shoes are so very comfortable. Very comfortable. Uh, they're from a brand. You can see that. There. Genuine leather, very, very comfortable. If you like Birkenstocks, you'll like these. But these are, look so good on the foot and they're so very comfortable. Maybe you can see underneath the name underneath that, but thought these were really nice. And I love, love, love the color. I love green, khaki green, military green, all of those colors they go really well with other things. Um, another pair of shoes, I was lucky for shoes this, this time out, are these. Just the black pump. I believe it's a fash, fast fashion brand. I don't know, let's see uh, the name, if I can show it to you. These are from a company called Her Style. If you can see that, give my camera, guys. I'm trying to, or the lighting, I'm trying to adjust it. But anyway, they have a net, ankle net. They look so sexy on the foot. So sexy on the foot. Love these, love these. I'm debating on to whether to put them on Poshmark or not. But I always love a black pump. You can never have too many black pumps. But I thought those were really, really cute. Very, very sexy. Very, very chic. Love those. And the yeah, I've got this leather pouch I found. 
don't know what I'm going to use for it because I don't like carrying small, small pouches, but um, I don't know. You can always find uh, some use for it, you know, if even if you're you shop and you just want to carry just your money here, you probably won't be able to put a cell phone in here or anything like that. But I thought this was neat. It is genuine leather, it has a pocket on the inside. You can wear it as a crossbody. And, uh, you know, just something you could uh, just throw on. Let's do some quick shopping. But thought that was cute. And the last thing that I got from the Goodwill is this bag here. Now, I'm not sure of what material is made out of. But I just love this bucket bag. What I love the most is it's sturdy. It has a lot of room on the inside. It has a zipper, very clean. And I'm not sure what brand makes it. There's a tag in here. And um, I can't, it doesn't have the brand name. But I thought it was, uh, very nice. I just like the structure of it. Oh, I didn't look well enough. Surprise, surprise. This is from Zara Basic Collection. Can you guys see that? And this is this is inside. It has a little um, attachment where you can detach it. It has a little snap. You can take this out if you don't want to carry the bag. Wow. I just saw that, guys. <laughs> anyway, surprise, surprise. But yeah, I liked it. And what I like the most is the strap. Not the most, but I like the strap. Um, because uh, what they're, a lot of bloggers are doing, or they're getting bags with the strap like this and they're embellishing it. It has a lot of embellishments on it. I'm thinking about doing a DIY and putting some, um, maybe some studs on it. Um, there's all kinds of things. I'll show you a little picture of exactly what I meant. But I really like this. Now that I realized that this is from the Zara collection, it's baby blue, pretty bucket bag, very sturdy. I think I'm going to keep it. I was thinking about putting it on Poshmark, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it. So, that's that. Now, these are the products that I went online shopping for. And they are from the company She, She and N. Some call it Sheen, but it's She and N. And this is an unboxing, guys. I wanted a pair of white heels. Now these, remind you, of the Bottega shoes. Let me just show you one. He's really pretty. Really nice. The heel is not very, very high. I haven't worn these. But I figured I would get them before the summer goes out. I wanted a pair of white mules. But these are really comfortable. Don't know what they're like after I wear them a while. But I tried them on, walked around in the house with them. And they were very comfortable. The height is, so, you know, at a height where it's not really uncomfortable to wear. These are so, so gorgeous. I also purchased from She and In uh, these leather shorts. Now I've always wanted some leather shorts, and I was determined just to uh, find a pair of thrifting because I can always find leather skirts. I can always find um, leather um, pants, but not shorts. And I really thought about cutting a pair of old leather ones that I have, make them into shorts, but. I'm determined to find a pair. But since I haven't, and I've been on the hunt for a long time, I decided to go ahead 
And I got these from Shein as well. These leather shorts. You got the full little opening here with the buttons. Here's the back. They've got pockets on the sides here. Right in here, pockets. And I tried them on and I think I needed a smaller size because I'm so apprehensive about, you know, buying, you know, pants or whatever online with, you know, because you never know how well they fit until you actually try them on. So, um, I was going to get a large, but I said, no, they may not fit. So I got an extra large and they, they look okay, but I think they would look better if they were smaller, just a little bit smaller, but I thought those were really cute. I'm debating about whether to keep them. I could alter them or just go ahead, sell them on Poshmark or wherever and uh, continue my pursuit in finding a pair from the thrift store. <laughs> or I may just break down like I did with these and just go ahead and buy a pair, but we'll see. Okay, and let's see. These are from Madden Girl. I've always, always, always wanted a pair of combat boots. I have a pair that I thrifted. They're like nice. They're like an emerald green color, I think. Um, I'll have to show you a picture of me styling those. But I wanted a black pair. Basic black pair of combat boots. I didn't want to spend a whole, whole lot of money because... I know I like the style and I wear boots a lot. I wear cowboy boots the most. But if I don't wear them very, very, very often. But I wanted a pair that I can wear pretty often. So I wanted a black pair, which is a basic pair. And these are them. These are really, really nice. Love them, love them love them they have a zipper on the side here on the inside the stitching is really really good really good and you know you can wear combat boots with them. everything pretty much everything shorts skirts long skirts short skirts mini skirts you can wear them with um uh, what do you call the pants that have the rubber in the, in, at the ankle? You can wear them with those. You can wear it with khakis. You can wear it with the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, fatigue pants. You can wear combat boots with anything. Dresses. There's a whole lot of ways to wear them. And they are comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Love, love, love. Madden Girl. Probably still have them online. I went on Amazon and they have a whole plethora of boots on Amazon. So that is it for the shoes. And I have one last accessory. And that is a pair of glasses. Now, eventually, I ordered these glasses from AliExpress, I believe it is, and they took forever to get here. I would say I ordered these, mm, let's say early February, and I got them about a month ago, but I finally got them. And they are very, very nice. Probably could have gotten another brand here in the States somewhere, but these are the shades or glasses. Take the paper off. Have them on for you. Check these out. And I'm going to have them uh, have a prescription placed in them. But these are really nice. I like these. 
and that is it guys that is my I am not finished I have more hold on I so forgot guys that I had a few items here on the rack so let me pull off one of the items and these items are from the Goodwill outlet. So I finished all of my uh, purchases from the regular retail stores, but check this out. Isn't this gorgeous? It has the sheer sleeves. It has the little uh, ruffle, not necessarily ruffle, but um, what would you call it? Well, I guess you can call it ruffle. And the bodice is sheer up here. It has this beautiful embroidery on the front. And this is the back. It has a keyhole opening here. Really, really cute. It goes above my knee. I thought this was really, really pretty. And the thing about this is, this is from the plus size size section say that three times the plus size section and I'm assuming it's a blouse for someone that's plus size but I thought it was so pretty so so pretty I decided to get it anyway and when I tried it on it looks like a dress it fits very well it just looks like a dress it has an overlay sheer overlay here and another um, row underneath it. Just so, so pretty. I'll have to do a lookbook showing you guys how this looks. That was from the Goodwill Outlet. Goodwill Outlet. The next is this dress here. Let me see if I can take it off. I thought this was really pretty as well. You know, summer is ending and inventory, they're taking putting, taking out the old and putting in the new. And this is a dress with tags from Judith Mark. Judith Mark still had the tags on it and everything. And the original price is, was $72, I believe it was. And they marked it down to 41 over here but I thought this was gorgeous just a nice beautiful color summer dress and I'm not sure of the material but it has this is I am um, heavy not very heavy but it's made of cotton and I just loved it the color and it fits so so well it has a lining on the inside and spaghetti straps and you can wear maybe a denim jacket with this if you don't want to wear your sleeves or if you want don't want to wear your shoulders out in the evening you can throw on the denim jacket this is the back isn't that pretty looks really good on too guys really really good that's that and let's see here is a blouse that I really really love now you know um, fringe is always in I think it will never go out of fashion but this is a blouse from a brand or designer called hold here it's a large and it's just a sleeveless top out of jersey material and it has fringes on the end on the sides here on each side and I thought that was really cute too from the Goodwill outlet yes that's really nice and gray is also a neutral color you can wear it with everything that you can wear in summer winter in the winter time you probably want to uh, wear it as a layering piece over something but it'll work for you for you throughout the year 
and let me show you what I got. This is something that I was apprehensive about getting, but I said, now you know, I'm not just normal. I love fine things in the thrift store and I said, I can do something with that. I found this. Let me take this off. This leopard print on the lapel on the side. And it is a bathrobe. It's made out of a velvet material. But you know, I'm thinking about wearing it as a coat. You know, that's what I do. Really, really long. And I can just see wearing this as a coat has the leopard print on the ends it has a tie here on the inside and you can tie it over but I think I'm just going to wear it open and I thought this was really nice I mean I just can't wait to style it I will definitely have to show you guys how I'm going to style this when I get it when I when I wear it Okay, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed my uh, outlet, Goodwill outlet, Goodwill retail store, and regular retail brand items that I purchased. I had a great time, as I always do. If you have not subscribed to my channel as of yet, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed seeing what you see, if you just watch a couple of my videos, check them out, and you like what you see, just go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, that'll let you know every time I upload a video, and share with your family, your friends, or your girlfriends, or boyfriends, or whomever, let them know that uh, this is a thrifting channel, and I have a lot of good things that I have to get out in these streets and find, and you'd be surprised what you can, how you can increase your wardrobe on a low, low budget. So, until then, guys, as I always say, always remember to live fashionably ever after. I'll talk to you later. Bye.